Yesterday I posted a video going over what I think are some of the best mods for web fishing currently out. But within 15 hours of me posting that video and starting to write this script, the mod manager I told everyone to use in that video is no longer getting updates. So because of that, I wanted to make a new video quickly showing you every single possible way to download and install web fishing mods. Regardless of how you install your mods, you will mostly get them from the same website, which is Thunderstore. This is the website where you can actually find web fishing mods, and it's also where Hookline Sinker got their mod list from. So even if you end up switching mod loaders, you'll still be able to use the same mods you had on Hookline Sinker. Now that we know how to find mods, let's look into how to manually install them. The first thing you need to do is get GD Weave, which is what allows mods to actually run in your game. Once you have the zip file downloaded, open Steam, right click on web fishing, and click on Browse Local Files. Now drop the GD Weave zip into the web fishing folder and extract it. This will add a GD Weave folder to your web fishing folder, and if you go inside that, you'll see a new folder called Mod, which is where you'll actually be putting your mods. Now that we have web fishing set up for mods, let's actually install one. For this video, I'm just going to use my custom app Fall Fishing, which, like all custom apps, also requires another mod called Lore. On Thunderstore, you can see if a mod depends on another one by looking here on the mods page. Once you have your mods picked out, hit the manual download option on them, then unzip it and open their folder. To upload mods to Thunderstore, developers have to add extra stuff into the mod package, which is what you'll be seeing on the root of the folder. What we want to do is open the GDW folder and then go into the mods folder, which should bring you to another folder that has the name of the mod you want. This is the actual mod, so click on the folder and copy it. Now go back to your web fishing folder, open the GDW folder, then the mods folder, and finally paste your mod into here. Now when you launch web fishing, your mods will automatically be launched. And while not required at all, one mod I highly recommend getting if you're manually installing mods is Tacklebox. This will give you a new button in the title and escape menu showing you what mod you have installed, while also allowing you to configure any of those that have config options. Now that we know how to manually install mods, let's go over the easier way of handling things, which are mod managers. Hookline and Sinker might not be an option anymore, but luckily we still have two other options, starting with R2 Modman. This is a super popular Thunderstorm mod manager used for a ton of games, including web fishing. You can find it pinned in the web fishing section of Thunderstore, and after it's downloaded, all you have to do is unzip it and run the install file. Because R2D Modman is made for a ton of games instead of just web fishing, right after you open the app for the first time, you'll have to select web fishing as your game, and then make a profile for it. Your profile isn't something that you sign up for, rather it's just there to make things easier on you. You can export your profile as a code, and if your friend uses that code in R2 Modman, then they'll automatically get every mod you had installed. Outside of that, the mod section is where you'll be able to see what mod you have installed, and enable or disable them. The online section is where you're going to be able to find all of the mods that you can download. If you don't like R2 Modman though, then you can use Gale's Mod Manager, which is a lightweight Thunderstore mod manager for a ton of games. You can also find this in the web fishing section of Thunderstore, and all you have to do is download it, open the zip file, run the .msi install file, and after that, open it. Just like R2 Modman, this isn't made solely for web fishing, so you have to choose web fishing as your game, and then after that you'll be ready to go. Now you can browse mods, enable or disable mods, configure your mods, or even export mod packs.